Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 6 before going ahead with part 7. Now that we have seen what is pressure, we have also discussed Pascal's law. It is time that we introduce what is atmospheric pressure. As the name suggests, the pressure exerted by atmosphere, right? So what is atmospheric pressure? As the name suggests, it is the pressure exerted by the weight of the atmosphere. That means the pressure which is exerted due to the atmospheric weight. Now you would ask, what constitutes the weight of the atmosphere? When I talk of atmosphere, it has a mixture of different airs, that is different gases. Now all these gas molecules together will constitute some weight and by virtue of that weight, there would be a pressure which would be exerted by the atmosphere on various objects. So that pressure is known as the atmospheric pressure. The value of atmospheric pressure at sea level is taken as 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So this is a standard value on the basis of which we measure pressure. So we say that at sea level, that means what do you mean by sea level? We consider the sea level to be a reference so that we can measure the pressure below and above the sea level with respect to that value at the sea level. So sea level is taken as the reference to measure atmospheric pressure and it is experimentally found that the value of atmospheric pressure at sea level is 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So what do we say? We say that one atmosphere, I already told you that atmosphere is a commonly uni used unit of pressure. So the value of atmospheric pressure at sea level is defined as one atmosphere. So this one atmosphere is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So I hope it is clear to you now that sea level is taken as the reference to measure atmospheric pressure. Now, the value of atmospheric pressure at sea level is 1 atmosphere and 1 atmosphere is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So, just to visualize it, you can consider, let us suppose this is the sea. So, now from this sea level, this is the sea level which is taken as the reference. Now, below this and above this, the atmospheric pressure will be measured with respect to the value at this level. So at the sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 1 atmosphere. So how do we measure atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure is measured by a device which is known as mercury barometer. So this is a device which is designed specifically to measure atmospheric pressure. So how does this device function and what is a mercury barometer? So we will see that now. This is the, a basic structure this is the basic structure of a mercury barometer. It basically consists of a trough, somewhat like this, which is filled with mercury. So this trough contains mercury. So a trough filled with mercury and there is a tube which, which again contains mercury and it is placed inverted. So one end of the tube is closed and the other end is opened. But we have placed it inverted inside this trough. So even this consists of mercury up to a certain level. Now what happens? The space above this, if you see, this tube is closed. So this space above mercury, what does this contain? This is nothing but this is just filled with mercury vapor. So this space is filled with mercury vapor. And the pressure at this space in this space is very small so we almost consider that the pressure at this in this space is equal to zero right so this is the setup of a mercury barometer now how does it function what happens is that the air here this is the atmosphere now this atmosphere exerts some pressure on this mercury level so because of this atmospheric pressure 
the level of the mercury decreases and as this decreases there is an increase in the level here just as you observed just now if you see as this is pushing as this here the air pressure is coming up this level increased initially this level was somewhere around here now it increased till here that means there was an increase in the level by this much so this increase in level determines how much atmospheric pressure is exerted right because the pressure exerted here is proportional to the increase in level of the mercury column so we say we compare the pressure at point a let us consider any point a here and any point say b here so we basically compare the pressure at point A and the pressure at point B. So the pressure at A should be equal to the pressure at B because the pressure which is which gets exerted at point A is the same pressure which in turn will get exerted at point B. So we understood here what happens. The atmospheric pressure is exerted. That is air pushes. Therefore the level increases. Therefore we can say that in this case the atmospheric pressure will be denoted by h rho g that means the increase in height of the column therefore here the pressure is measured in terms of how many millimeters of mercury column goes in the column so it is measured in terms of so how is atmospheric pressure measured it is measured in terms of how many millimeter mercury grows in the column so the greater is the height that the mercury reaches in this column the greater is the atmospheric pressure now when the height in this column becomes 76 centimeter of mercury we say that the pressure applied is equal to one atmospheres so that means when one atmosphere is the atmospheric pressure that is applied at point A, then the height that is reached in this mercury column is 76 centimeter, right? So this is a very important uh, property or very important point which is to be remembered because this will be used quite often hereafter. So I hope it is clear to you now what is atmospheric pressure. We measure atmospheric pressure with the help of a mercury barometer and how does a mercury barometer function it basically consists of a trough containing mercury there is another tube which consists of mercury and which is closed at one end that tube is placed inverted inside this trough now the amount of pressure which atmosphere exerts on this column on the mercury column in the trough is the is proportional to the amount of increase there is in the mercury column in the tube so that means the greater is the atmospheric pressure the greater is the height the mercury reaches in the column now let us discuss the different units of pressure there are there are many different units which are used to measure pressure here we list down all the different units and we'll relate them to each other the first one is pascal which is the si unit and i have already discussed about it so the reference level reference to measure pressure is the sea level sea level is taken as the standard as i told you so at sea level what is the pressure it is 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals the next is atmospheres which is written as atm so here also at the reference that is at sea level the pressure is 1 atmospheres so we can say that one atmosphere is pressure equivalent of 76 centimeter of mercury column. This is what we discussed just now, right? That means when the pressure applied, when the atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere, then the height that mercury should rise in the should get raised in the column is 76 centimeter. So one atmosphere is equal to 76 centimeters of mercury column. Also from this first point we can say that one atmosphere is equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals because this is the value of the atmospheric pressure at sea level in terms of atmosphere. This is the value of atmospheric pressure at sea level in pascals. The third unit is torr 
Torr is pressure equivalent of 1 mm of mercury column. That means when the height reached by mercury in the column is 1 mm, then the corresponding atmospheric pressure is said to be of 1 torr. So, how is torr related to Pascal? 1 torr is equal to 133 Pascals. The fourth unit is bar. 1 bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 Pascals. Torr and bar are the two units which, which you will find is less commonly getting used but still you should remember them and their relation with Pascal so that in sometimes you need this, this to, for conversion to solve numericals. So these are the different units which we keep using to measure pressure. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.